नागपुर से आया है ओके इसको क्या पता होगा He has got some tabs. He has got a reach. Challenge my level. Yes, that's the vision we have. It was my uncle in nineteen seventy-two when I was born. Uh, he went uh, pillin with one of his. Actually, four of them started off a journey all the way from Nagpur on Java motorcycle. Two of them came back, just about close to Pakistan or something. Mr. Jakhtar Singh Sethi, my dad's younger brother, and Mr. Ullas Kelkar, his friend. They continued all the way up to Europe into UK, and they ventured there when there were no there was no Google. This is in 1972, and they had to plan that itinerary meticulously for a period of almost a year. before they could start the journey so when i used to hear those stories in my childhood days and see those pictures it got me excited i couldn't do something similar as uh, excited as uh, what he was able to I've definitely done my engineering. B honors polymer engineering from London School of Polymer Technology, which is probably equivalent to London School of Economics. And I'm amongst the first two polymer engineers in the world having a B honors sandwich degree. It's a part of a course when we graduated. There's a one-year industrial training. While I was studying in the UK, I used to work over the weekends, earn my money, save my money, and went out and ventured into Europe on a Ural. a uh, youth pass valid for 30 days and then explored almost 26 cities in Europe starting off from Amsterdam so there are some wild and different experiences all the way down to Greece and then back and used to work for almost 8 to 10 hours a day exploring each of the city we had distillery business and various other businesses and finally uh, we had the travel business in since 1978 along with the first three star hotel of nagpur jacksons even the second hotel which was the first five star hotel uh, was jacksons regency which is the pride hotel nagpur now and uh, so when i came back i tried my hands at various things even went to the distilleries uh, almost a year or so and finally decided that uh, probably i went for the iata course air india iata course and uh, around 95 i think i was the topper at the air india iata course with a score of 99.5% and uh, there was no looking back life throws in a lot of challenges and you have to stand up to those challenges every day is a challenge I used to work on various projects with uh, uh, whoever i was working on a project even if it was an accounting software in those days when there was no email nothing i wanted to optimize on technology because i could foresee that there were more opportunities jacksons was one of the uh, uh, it agents and in a very small short span of time the company has won several awards at various levels being the best performer with various airlines with various hotel chains uh, between me and my brother we have traveled and been to more than 300 or so travel trade shows across the globe we have invested heavily on our edu own education educating ourselves gearing up ourselves we wanted to understand various destinations before we can we could bring it out and showcase it to the client we wanted to know whether it's right for the uh, profile of clients that we are catering to in the initial days when i got into the business they were not probably more than a couple of handful of flights operating airlines operating and uh, jet probably started around the same time east west was one of the first few airlines 
the team of East West, whenever I used to travel to Mumbai or wherever, uh, used to call me the Prince of Nagpur. I was so pleased that there's a recognition at that early age. And uh, we were very supportive of all our partner airlines, including Indian Airlines, which was uh, the bread and butter for us. I love to share knowledge. That's very true because unless you share knowledge, how can you broaden your own horizon? Once I was uh, in London flying back on Qatar Airways, they had just started a flight into uh, Nagpur. I was the only passenger in business class on that flight way back during those days. I asked the check-in counter staff that, how is the flight doing? And uh, she checked up my p and and said, where on earth is this place Nagpur? I said, I need to see to it that people know where Nagpur is on the map. Not only Nagpur, there are many more country, uh, cities, even countries like these which don't have a prominence or a presence globally. It had to come on a global map and uh, that's what triggered. And uh, I realized that if I start sharing my knowledge, start promoting the region, Obviously, over a period of time, people would start recognizing where uh, Nagpur is and what the benefits are started discussing with various rep companies, uh, tourism boards that there are more better opportunities in the early days. There were only a few who felt that there were opportunities in the tier 2, tier 3 markets and agreed to come down and share their products and knowledge with our travel trade friends. So rather than restricting this knowledge within us, we could have benefited out of this. We wanted to share it with our other travel fraternity partners and we grew together. In the early 90s, early 2000s, there were not more than 20-30 travel agents in and around Nagpur. But today there are more than 700 travel agents within the city of Nagpur. So that's the growth and it's an international airport, two flights serving out of this region. And we always thought that educating and empowering the travel fraternity would be the right way forward. And particularly those in the tertiary market, the tier 2, tier 3 markets. Like we felt neglected a lot many others when we visited trade shows or any other place. We used to feel out of place. And people used to think, Nagpur se hai. Okay, isko kya pata hoga. So I used to calmly listen and they used to realize themselves that he has got some types. He has got a reach. We are staying at the same property, why has he got a sweet room? What is it that he does? So there was something within this young boy at that time that, yes, it's not, you don't have to talk about what you do. Many from the uh, metro cities claim that, oh, I, I do 50,000 passengers, I've done 10,000 passengers, whereas in certain destinations, the total number of passengers traveling to that destination is not equivalent to 10,000. We always talked about genuine figures, true figures. Rather than speaking of figures, we always used to perform and let others speak on our behalf. That's what I always tell others that don't fake, don't give wrong numbers. It's easy to, it's so foolish to not to understand, it's easy to figure out and especially those in the industry who have been in the industry for long do understand the nitty gritty as well. The vision was uh, visualized way back between me and Rishi, my younger brother, six years younger to me but looks a bit older to me, more healthier than me. 
both were passionate he was he was looking after the distilleries and finally as our business grew i told him that i need extra hands i have to travel so i need you here to extend more uh, so that we can reach out and improve our business and in 2008 i got the opportunity to create the thai nagpur chapter that's what took me off track then went on to serve the managing committee there on became the honorary secretary general of thai and the national body served at that level and uh, gave my best i somehow felt that today or tomorrow i need to do a lot of hand holding for the travel agents from our city nagpur itself and showcase them uh, because qatar had withdrawn their flights out of nagpur and that was a big blow for my complete team at hand and we were very upset i was traveling i was in switzerland when i got that news and i couldn't sleep for a couple of nights that we put in so much efforts and during the season peak of season they had to withdraw and they were not at fault the yield and the loads at that time was not so great mm, so they were blaming them uh the market was not so receptive at that very moment and uh, it had to grow and we saw to it that we as citizens of nagpur we had to do something to bring in the it, the outbound was always good but it was the inbound that because like i said no one knew where nagpur was so uh, that's when we got that opportunity and i said let's do let's showcase the products that jacksons has that's the parent company of gps uh that's where gps is born out of So Jackson's Travels uh, company which was formed in 1978 took the lead and we showcase almost about 30 odd products of our partners and service providers that we were working with a lot of people told me are you a fool how can you open up your cards and showcase the partners that you are working with the other agents in the market will start uh, working with them directly so what's your in for you I told them whether today or tomorrow they may or they may not work with these guys but at least we'll have a healthy competition that's what I wanted to create and uh, there has to be there has always got to be a healthy environment when you work uh, undercutting deep discounting these are not the things that one should take path to and uh, These were the days when the airline remunerations were going to zero. Uh, people were losing out on the bread and butter. They were never looking at newer opportunities, and that's when we decided that it's about time that we showcase them the opportunities to uh, uh, the various ancillaries and upsell. How to upsell and crosssell different projects. So showcase Jacksons in 2013 had about 30 odd. exhibitors with about 200 buyers coming in from nagpur and uh, a driving distance of amravati akola chandrapur surrounding cities in vidarbha and we got that confident that we can grow this further a lot many of our exhibitor friends told us complain to us rather why did you not invite us we would have also loved to be a part of the same in the first day itself we were actually looking at getting Ten exhibitors within the same premises, hotels in the point. Uh, I had booked about ten or twelve rooms, and a week prior, I had to come back to them that I need a larger venue to accommodate thirty exhibitors with almost thirty-five rooms and uh, maybe a, a venue to cater to about hundred and fifty odd, as against just twenty-thirty uh, people. 
and that was the beginning. Uh, 2014, we uh, reinvented ourselves and we called ourselves Global Panorama Showcase. The initials are GPS, as everyone uh, knows in the industry now. The number of exhibitors staying back for the B2C was much lower. So we decided to discontinue that around 2015. And 2016, uh, when I came out of Thai, I was able to focus more on my business and we decided that we go, uh, we get wings. So the new logo that you see with the wings. So GPS got wings and we ventured out into Ahmedabad, Chandigarh, Kolkata and Coimbatore in its first year. 2017, uh, we replaced Co uh, Coimbatore with Kochi and we added Pune as well. Then we added Lucknow uh, in the next year. Today, we st in 2019, we stand at uh, almost eight GPS cities and four EcoConnect cities. So Nagpur, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Chandigarh, Kolkata, Kochi, Pune, Lucknow. These are the eight GPS cities and EcoConnect, Vishakhapatnam, Indor, Jaipur and uh, Vizag are the four EcoConnect. Within GPS, we have several verticals now. So, GPS, the parent, uh, it's a separate entity since 2017. Prior to that, it was part of Jackson's Travels. We have GPS, we have EcoConnect, which is the smaller one-day tabletop format. GPS is a full two-day format, one day of education, empowering the... And we had a gathering of almost 600 plus, uh, 650 plus on the day one itself during the presentation. And they asked me, do you know how big a CSR activity you guys are doing? I said, no sir, I, I never realized that. How exactly and what is it that you think that we are doing right? He said, hosting lunch for six, 650 people is a huge task. Hosting their educational seminars and charging them nothing for the same and giving them a lot of hand-holding, calling students skill development, that's a huge CSR activity on a part which we never realized we had been doing it since 2013 and the audience grew. As on date we have a following of more than 50,000 travel professionals across the industry over the years who have participated or got acquainted with us. All of this came into place when Tanushka came back to me. She joined me very early, my daughter. At the early age of 17, she had the opportunity to go abroad and study, but she said, who a better teacher than you? So I would train under you. And at the age of 17, like I went off, she started working and addressing. That's when we got Seavent on board in 2016, and we got the wings. And uh, even Seavent never realized that we could be one of the largest clients in India. Tanushka worked well with the team to get us the best of products in terms of an app. So we went paperless in 2016 itself with the GPS event and uh, 50,000 plus agents following us, 10,000 plus attendees in uh, 2019 at our various events and saving over 50,000 kilos of paper since 2016. That is almost one and a half ton of paper at each of our events, uh, which runs close to almost 18 events now, including the Educational Destination Workshop International or India, Edwin. That is what it stands for. People love us and we love them back. They have accepted us with open arms and we respect and regard that. So we started setting benchmarks for ourselves. That how can we better this, how can we improvise it and we set something as a goal for ourselves in 2016 that by 2020 we have to go green and digital completely. And now we set at two, uh, 2020 so instead of playing a test match or a 50-50, we are playing a 20-20 and we have gone green. We are completely digital. We gave away a close to almost 
500 bottles, steel bottles, the go green bottles, we have replaced all plastic bottles, we have moved away from flex, we were using almost 10 to 12,000 square feet of flex at every GPS event. So you can just imagine that's a saving of 48, uh, 12, 96,000 square feet of uh, plastic waste getting redundant, not getting generated at all. People may call me visionary but I, I, I could see into the future that this could lead to huge dumps. So why not move away? So we try as of as Harmandeep, as Rishi Raj, as Tanushka, we try to do our bit. Whatever best we can. GPS is the only pro probably one of the only digital and uh, e-event in the world right now. Go paperless. You need not carry a single piece of paper with GPS. You can upload every single document that you want to within the GPS app. It will be available to all the buyers. All the attendees are listed within the GPS app. That's what my daughter has created. Mm -hmm. A lot of information is available, even the speaker, the sessions. Uh, everything, all the presentations are available within the app for our buyers. The attendee list, you can check e-contacts. You can dial from within the contacts. Exhibitors have the opportunity to scan and create a list of questionnaires themselves, what they would want to ask. In addition to the questions they have, the uh, buyers have already asked, uh, answered when we collected the data. So uh, go green, go digital, go paperless is what we say. Put in your, a bit of your own uh, effort. One complaint that my wife does, I had a medical condition suffering from colitis because I, I never used to eat. I had the hunger for work but not for food. So she told me what are you working for? and she put me on the right track so to my parents and my wife they, they they my children they put in a lot of effort to get me back on track and told me that life is not only about work you you need to stay humble that's what my parents taught me my grandparents taught me the youngsters including my daughter are the new generation and if we have to look at their future and their our grand, my grandchildren's future, then a sustainable and responsible environment is something that one should look towards. You have to have that hunger, you have to swim against the tide. Not everyone can, but uh, there are others who can hold on to you and help you cross across. Probably I'm one of those who can help people cross across, but at the same time learn. So never say that I know everything, even as on date, as I speak out here. I would say I'm an opportunist uh, to the extent that if opportunity strikes, I would seek it as a challenge and see to it that I stand up to that opportunity and try and uh, whether it's a win or loss doesn't make a difference to me. I just go at it and I challenge my limits. We set benchmarks, the complete team of GPS, uh, be it Rishi be it Tanushka, be it Madhu for that reason at ED, be it uh, uh, Raju our CEO, be it Sobhi uh, ED, be it Ankush, everyone is a go-getter. So that's what helps the team come together, work together, play together and see to it that we stand up the new digital format. Oh God! It was a task, took me two years to get it implemented, but yes, that's the vision we had. So you have to have, you have to set goals for your own self, for your team and live up to those.